solar system is an exciting place. These are eight large celestial bodies, many planetary satellites, comets, asteroids, and many other amazing objects. The solar system is part of Milky Way galaxy. All the planets move not only around its axis, but around the Sun. Due to this, the Earth is a changing of the seasons and time of day. The Sun is one of the brightest planets in the solar system. It gives its heat to nearby planets. However, those that are closer to the Sun, Mercury and Venus, very hot. But to those who are far away, cold. Because the Sun's rays do not reach the distant planets. Our planet Earth is lucky. The temperature is comfortable for the origin, life, and development of living organisms. Mercury is closest to the Sun. It is the smallest planet but moves the fastest. During the day, Mercury is hot and very cold at night. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, it has an atmosphere. This envelope of air comprising carbon dioxide. Therefore, it isn't possible to breathe. They're also very hot on Venus. So there are no living organisms. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It has a blue color. We live on this planet. The Earth has an atmosphere, but it is not like Venus. It includes a large amount of oxygen, necessary for respiration, the life and development and of living organism. The Earth has only one satellite, the Moon. The Moon rotates around the Earth. We see the Moon in different phases. From the Earth to the Moon is 384,400 kilometers. On foot, you could pass this distance for nine years. Mars is a small red planet, the fourth from the Sun. It has almost no oxygen and no water. Although, Scientists suggest that there could be rivers and seas many years ago. But so far, the signs of life on Mars is not detected. Jupiter, the fifth planet. It is the biggest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is a gas giant rather than a terrestrial planet and is made largely of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter rotates quickly and on its surface, there are often storms and lightning. Saturn, the sixth planet, large enough. It is considered a gas giant. Around Saturn, there are a ring system, like disk. They consist of broken asteroids, stones, and icy coatings. The temperature of the planet is low to minus 180 degrees. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It is considered the coldest. The temperature is about minus 220 degrees. Uranus rotates not like all the planets. Uranus is like lying on your side. Neptune is a cold planet located far from the Sun, the eighth planet from the Sun. 
there are blowing the strongest winds. Neptune has a blue color. Pluto, early Earth considered the ninth planet of the solar system, but was too small. And now, it is called Dwarf Planet. Pluto is farthest from the Sun and therefore very cold out there. Everything in the solar system orbits or revolves around the Sun. The Sun contains around 98% of all the material in the solar system. The larger an object is the more gravity it has. Because the Sun is so large, its powerful gravity attracts all the other objects in the solar system towards it. At the same time, these objects, which are moving very rapidly, try to fly away from the Sun outward into the emptiness of outer space. At the same time, the Sun is trying to pull them inward. Is that they become trapped halfway in between balancing between flying towards the Sun and escaping into space they spend eternity orbiting around their parent star <laughs>